So I haven't done a vlog update in a little while, and uh, I've been busy and been on site, and I don't talk about what goes on in the store quite as often. Um, but it's a busy day because we have some new builds, we got more stuff going out. Fancy, fancy i7. Uh, still got the price tag on it, it's a lot. But custom. It's actually not that much. So Corey's back here dying because he uh, had some of the ghost sauce. That's how we started our day here. You feel alive, Corey? I'm on fire. He's on I don't fire. Have anything to drink? I'm in trouble. <laughs> he forgot to bring a drink. <laughs> My neck is sweating. <clears throat> Your neck is sweating. Yeah, so is I'm starting well. That's awesome. Oh man. I love it when your morning's filled with regret because of hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Madonna back there. Not gonna make it. So we're over here. We got some cameras we're programming. So we got more cameras that gotta go in at another project. Uh, I do want to do a video of the project because we connected another site to site wireless this time at a different stadium. Not the stadium we did before, but another stadium. Uh, so we're running around that project. Uh, we also have a bridge that we're going to put a wireless bridge in at a bridge. That's gonna be a fun project. Uh, basically, we have a client that owns a bridge, and yes, there's only a few of these people that own bridges, and no, it's not the Ambassador Bridge, but on the island, they have internet, and oddly enough, on the land side, they don't because of where the location is. So we're gonna be putting a site-to-site -site bridge project in there, and I'm gonna use my drone and fly around and make it look pretty cool. I got all the stuff on order, and I'm kinda of waiting for that to come in right now. Uh, Kyle's clicking away, fixing computers. So the reason I like more of the on-site videos is there's certainly a lot more interesting to watch. Uh, unfortunately, what goes on in the store is a whole lot of click, next, clicks. So, have to, so how many times a day do you think you click next, Kyle? Huh. Um, more than an Asian, F, uh, uh, what is it? <laughs> Mo more than an Asian mobile player. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, uh, 100 plus. <laughs> 100 plus, yes. So most of, most of the time in the store we spend just clicking next and answering the phone. So we're happy sometimes when the phone's not ringing because that means there's not any problems. Uh, but it also sometimes means that business isn't coming in because it means not new phone calls are coming in. But the majority of the time we actually spend in between all those phone calls is with the retail store clicking yes and next. And when it's you just, call, it distracts me from clicking next. And when I call? Not you. Oh, right? yeah, the calls distract from clicking next. Um, but that's kind of how we have a little bit of the free time here. Um, and it, my wife likes to make fun of me, and I always sort of just watch my YouTube videos so you can understand better. But she's like, oh, you're playing with hot dogs and doing this. I'm like, yeah. I said, you. it takes a while to get Windows to load. That's what we do while Windows is loading is we fry hot dogs and eat hot sauce. And um, we were, uh, what, the, what's the Russian band we just looked up? Little Big. Little big, that Russian band. We were just rocking that for a minute. <laughs> I know the song's kind of stuck in my head. Every day I'm drinking. <laughs> But uh, that gives it, being in the store gives us the free time, so to speak. I mean, we're working, but we're waiting. Uh, we're waiting for Windows to load. Even though we have the imaging server and we have all this thing, we do the best we can to automate our job as much as possible for efficiency, and we do a great job of it. But it, unfortunately, that means we're waiting all the time, waiting for the virus scan to finish, waiting for this. Uh, so it gives us a lot of extra time in between to do all the other videos. And it also makes it a little bit harder for me because I have to think about, okay, what am I gonna talk about to make this more interesting? Uh, because it's really hard to make it interesting because, well, it's just next, yes, next, yes, next, yes, wait 20 minutes, next, yes. And we also have a lot of computers that come in that have the intermittent problems, which are always the hardest ones to solve. Uh, we just solved one for a guy, he said it locks up roughly every two or three hours. So, every change we made to try and guess why it was locking up took two to three hours. We actually were able to find it. it was a memory controller problem because, you know, Windows 10 sucks. So yeah, dedicated video with the memory controller caused the uh, computer to intermittently lock up. Thanks Windows 10 for not supporting a fairly new laptop and having these weird issues. It is a known problem, unfortunately, with this model. We did some Googling, found the, kind of found the answer, turned off that shared video issue, and now it works. Amazing. But these are the kind of things that we have to deal with all the time. We actually have a computer right here that we just put a YouTube playlist going and it just runs forever because it also allegedly locks up and crashes, but it's been running every since... Every couple of days. Yeah, the client literally said every couple days is when it happens. And being that that is so hard to prove, it's now been running for two days on the bench. Running fine, by the way. Oh, and, and never crashing, by the way. That's also why we have a KVM. 
and we can connect so many computers on one bench with one screen. We got five available slots on here to connect. Six. I'm sorry, we have eight actually overall. Yeah, eight overall. We have uh, six hooked up right now, and that allows us to do that. And there's the phone. Oh, and on the topic of jobs, this is kind of funny and sad um, and aggravating, but it's gonna, it, let me show you. So we've been contracted by a company to run this, which is Fiber Interduct. And they told us the spec by which to run it. We, they looked at it, they seen it, they go, yeah, you can run that. And so we did, because we were running another pipe and they said, no, no, you can go down to three quarter inch. We said, okay, we will. So after we did, they said, oh, um, the fiber we have now won't cut. Now, this, I won't say the name, it is a large company that is doing this and they're contracting us. So now they have to, after they paid us for this, they have to pay us again to go pull out the fiber work we did and then put in the larger uh, interduct work, which also means new drilling and holes and pulling it all out. So now we get the labor for putting it in, pulling it out and putting it in again. It's fun dealing with large corporate companies. As long as they're paying me, we will go do this. This is the kind of uh, silliness that you get to deal with with some of the corporate companies. Um, yeah, I don't know how to describe it. What would you say, Corey? What's it like working with the, we'll not name their name, corporate company? <laughs> it's uh, nothing less than an adventure every time we get one. Yeah, every job's an adventure. Uh, what, what the other one you just did the other day for them pulled to the wrong room. Not because the, we bit it, they said pull it to this room. We did, it's the wrong room. They didn't know where the handoff was. They, yeah, they, they didn't know where the handoff was. So now we get to run an, another one to another room because, <laughs> you know, why not? <laughs> but it's all right, as long as we're getting paid. That's that's the bottom line in business. As long as you're getting paid for it, it's as aggravating as to deal with. You just have to stop and go, I know I'm repeating the same thing over again, but I'm getting paid to do it. That makes me pretty happy. So this is my quick vlog update of kind of what we're going on. Just kind of more of the same. Lots of computers moving viruses and uh, a, a really cool new build that I am excited about because uh, we want to see it's a new rendering video edit machine for a friend of mine and a oh, business associate. I, I look at that. My business associates, my friends, my friends are business associates, but it's a really cool high-end build of a lot of great parts. Exciting. Liquid cooled GTX 1060. Great stuff. 32 gigs of RAM. Lots of RAM. So all the RAM units. So that's what's going on. And I also, one more thing I have to take care of today. New drives I had got, the new Toshibas, one of them decided it's time to break, so I get to uh, take my RAID array, shut it down, slide the drives out, replace the one drive that's bad that I say about RAID arrays. I'm not worried, there's no data loss to worry here. It's got plenty of redundancy. Uh, but now I have the aggravation of I had to get another drive and I'll, I ordered a replacement drive and this one is under warranty so I send this one back and then I'll have a spare when it comes back because I didn't have an extra spare of this particular drive so I just ordered another one. But uh, my RAID array is broken into different segments. We have the um, higher end customer segment and then we have the part that just kind of mirrors my computer. And the good news is that's the part that broke, the RAID array that just mirrors my computer. Um, and what it does there is for whenever I'm editing videos and dropping information on my computer, it uses sync thing to sync it right to my free NAS. That way, I don't have to have a RAID array in my computer specifically, and if something happens on my computer, I don't just have a copy, I have five revisions of it. And then it's snapshotted every hour so I can completely revert back to previous versions. It's a great system. I think I have a whole video review I did on that. Um, but it saves me because that way it's constantly backing up, synchronizing locally all the videos and all the edits I do. And uh, it also, when I show shut my computer down, I can uh, VPN back in here and grab the files from home if I needed a couple of video files and I wanted to do an edit or I needed some um, archive footage to pull into another video. So it's kind of a handy thing, but of course that's what decided to take a crap on me. Uh, but it still works, it just has one drive going in bed, so I'll get that replaced today too. So uh, that's it for what I got going on on, what is today, Corey? Can't be a 10th. Thursday, November 10th. Cool.